finally happened. We're going on a like a boxing day walk, even though it's the day after, it's just their family tradition. Then we've got to dash back to the boat, make sure it hasn't sunk. And then we're back at the boat tonight to have our first night in three nights at home. It's very exhausting and our social batteries are empty. back home it's very cold but everything's fine we remember to turn the inverter off this time and we're still on 12.8 so the fridge has drawn very very little the bilge pump didn't have anything to pump out which is good and everything seems fine on new year's eve eve we headed back to see my mum and sister again <laughs> the raccoon's back we went to the local cinema to watch The New Kingsman, a movie that Kezia recently worked on as part of the special effects team. After the film, we headed back to my mum's, played a few games, and then drove back to the boat. We were so excited for New Year's Eve because our friends Polly and Fleur came back to visit us. We went into Nottingham and explored the market, got some food and played some crazy golf. Oh, here we go, it's gone. Where'd it go? Crazy! Oh Then we took Polly and Fleur to Wagamama's because they'd never been before and it's one of our favourite restaurants. It's quite firm. Yeah, yeah. It's about it. After our bellies were full, we headed back to the boat to find a surprise. We've just been given a gift from Mark and Tracy from Wide Beam Aquarius. Thank you so much. I'm gonna open it now. Oh, Greg's yum oh. yums. Oh, some treats for Rufus. Oh, a treat for Rufus. Oh, a candle, a gingerbread candle. And there's a note as well. It says, <laughs> Hi, where's Amy and gang? Happy New Year, just a little gift to start the new year off. We enjoy your vlogs. Kind regards, Mark, Tracy and Jasper. Oh, Wide Beam Aquarius. Thank you so much. And... Oh, yes. A lifetime supply of Pepsi Max. That's amazing. They know us well. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. That's so sweet of you. I know you're probably seeing this really late, but thank you so much. <laughs> And Rufus has got his gorgeous little bow tie on from our friends Polly and Fleur. Look how gorgeous! Oh. No, he's gonna reject their treat. You'll make us look bad. He's like, absolutely not. This is not horrible. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone! <laughs> Thank you.
We just met Mark and Tracy and Jasper. It was so lovely to meet you and chat. Thank you so much. They stopped by to say hello and telling us all about their lovely wide beam. So thank you so much for saying hi. It was lovely to meet you again. It's New Year's Day and we are in Matlock Bath, which is one of our old favorite places to visit back from the house. And we're just going on a little walk with Rufus and Flo and Polly. Polly and Fleur have gone and it's almost the end of the holidays as well so it will soon be back to normal, back to the routine. <laughs> Just had to renew our licence for the 1st of January. Um, for those that don't know you have to pay a licence to be on the canals and rivers. It's kind of like road tax um for the cars so we get the gold one that way we can go on all of the canals and all the rivers and we don't have to worry about paying for some of them when we get there because that is also an option and it's usually um by length of your boat so for those that are wondering ours is 1239 pounds for the year um and our boat is 50 foot and that's for a gold license it's very pricey but at least we have to only pay it once a year and then it's done with and we save up throughout the year for it. So it's not too bad. For Christmas, I got a new toy from my mum. It's one of these window vacuum things because it's very common in the winter to have condensation on your windows build up. Wes has got his new boots that he got for Christmas and his new coat. Amy's decked out in a, <laughs> in a new sweater, a new coat with heated pockets. It's literally heated, it's amazing. <laughs> and little Wellington boots. The last day of the holiday today, so we are going on a walk with my sister Ryan and the doggies. Um, just to have a nice round off to the holiday and then we are going back sorting out the bow and trying to get sorted before Wes has to go to work tomorrow. <gasps> the big boy's coming! Come on then! We've just gotten back from our last Christmas holiday activity. It was a really lovely walk. It was really sunny. 
and the dogs had a great time. And tomorrow I'm back at work and we're back to the sort of usual routine and stresses. So I'm feeling pretty rubbish right about now. Yeah, just, yeah, feel horrible. I think it's pretty normal though after the Christmas period for people to be feeling this way when they go back to work, so. And it's time to take the Christmas decorations down. I'm gonna miss them, but it'll be nice to have all that room again. I'm gonna put the Christmas tree outside and then take the decorations off because every time I touch it, they all just fall off. So I'm gonna put that outside first. Christmas trees are so lethal. The next morning we took another test and for the first time it came out positive. At first we didn't feel so bad but as the week went on we felt worse and worse. This is the most outside we can be. Just setting Rufus out for the toilet. And then back in. Lunch in bed. Noodles. Spring rolls and bread. <laughs> the only time we're allowed to leave the boat is to go get a PCR test done. So that's where we're going now. I'm going to wipe the car down, leave the windows open, keep the masks on, so that Amy's mum can come get a car back safely. It's so lucky that we've got the car because we wouldn't have known what to do without it, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> we have to drive with the windows open because that kind of helps blow it out. It's so cold. It's freezing. It's so loud that I've got a really bad headache. Thank you. We just got on our PCR test. It wasn't too bad. It was just kind of like a normal home test. They were very efficient in there. The person that helped us was brilliant. Thank you for all the volunteers and NHS workers that have been working to help people get tested. We're keeping the mask on in the car because my mum's picking it up later just to protect my mum. Then a little bit later on tonight, my same our helpers, my mum and my sister Shani, are uh, picking us up some shopping and dropping it us off at the door so that is brilliant and then we're sorted and we can't leave the house again this is not how i envisage the last drive food delivery time we've placed an order on click and collect and my mom and sister have gone to as for us to collect it now we're going to meet them in the car park. I think the best thing to do is we're taking these baskets and just going to put them on the floor so they can fill them up with the food and then we'll carry them back. Shopping everywhere. But we got the goods. We've got plenty of food to last us. <coughs> Lots of veggies and fruit. And now we just gotta find somewhere to put it all. I made dinner, so it's my turn to relax on the sofa. I'm gonna put some of the shopping away because I can't settle when it's messy. And obviously, it's quite hard to keep things tidy when you're both poorly. I do not feel good. We've got tea and candles and cozy time. Thank you so much, Mark, Tracy, and Jasper for the lovely candle. Still got to twist the stone gland every now and then, even when we just sat still. Knackered already.
even after just doing two small tiny jobs i'm exhausted <sighs> almost midday Time for some tea and crumpets. You'll have to excuse the mess, but we can't go to the bins. And we haven't really got the energy to clean up either, so sink full of stuff, clean stuff we haven't put away, bags and things from when Amy's mum and sister dropped some supplies off. And recycling and rubbish. My head literally feels like it's five times too small for whatever is inside it. is still <laughs> a COVID mess. So on the menu tonight, chicken nuggets, chips and beans, courtesy of our fridge freezer. When we did the lateral flow test, Amy's tested positive and mine tested negative, but I had a lot more kind of symptoms, I guess. So we went for the PCR test because that's what the, uh, the guidelines were at the time. And they came back today Amy's is positive for COVID, but mine's negative. And we're just really confused. I don't know how it works. We're still both just isolating to be safe. Thank you. <laughs> A nice childish dinner. Then travel downstream as far as we can get. We weren't in any hurry. Staying weeks at each spot and just- One of Rufus's favorite snacks is popcorn. Whenever, mainly Amy has popcorn, he always finds his way up onto the sofa and then we'll try and intercept the pieces between packet and mouth. <laughs> oh, yum, yum, yum. Not really had any sleep for three nights now. Coffee's just keeping me awake. Even with cough medicine, cough sweets, sitting upright, cold flannels, all the tricks in the book. Can't get any sleep, apart from a couple of naps in the day. But well, I'm still off work sick because I'm still feeling awful. But we're doing okay. Just outside now because we still obviously have to let Rufus out to get to the toilet. And then we just make sure that there's no one around, we don't touch anything, we don't go near anyone. So. It's pretty safe, I think. The daily jobs of just lugging big bags of coal around are definitely more exhausting when you're ill. You've still got to be done, otherwise you don't get to be warm. I'm feeling very bad. <laughs> But we're keeping ourselves entertained with break the log with stiff. <laughs> um, we're playing a game. Choose one tool first to break the heat log wins. <laughs> one tool, one heat log. I get to pick first. Okay. This one. You've tried and tested. You've, you've succeeded with this in the past. You know what? I'm going to go for a slightly left field option. It could it could backfire though. The stick. Stove grate or fire poker? Let us know in the comments which one's going to win. Three, okay. two, two, one. Ah, oh, it was close. The aftermath of the ultimate competition. As you can see, I don't know if we'll have it in the replay, me getting a little bit 
overzealous with the old poker. But I have made some permanent impressions. Oh my god! Wes! Snowing loads today, this evening. Can't really make any use of it, which is a bit of a shame. And Amy's so annoying today. Oi! <laughs> Bug out the side hatch. In order to maximise the safety of letting Rufus out intermittently for a wee, we've come up with a, a clever new system that involves quite a lot of leads and our towpath side side hatch. He is fine with it. He's actually gotten quite good at it. He just hops out, goes for a wee. And he has a long lead to just go for a wee. Can we reel him back in? Come on then. Does a little jump and then, whoa! <laughs> all done! And then we're all done just for a quick wee wee, aren't we? He's been so good. Good boy. <laughs> What's for dinner tonight, Wes? Come on, it better not be stupid. <laughs> That's all I can muster. <laughs> what is it? What are they? It's, it's ten of pairs. <laughs> oh, well, you not even got one for me? Just sharing them. <laughs> the other ten was right at the back of the cupboard. I don't want pears for dinner. <laughs> she didn't know it. On the list that we made before we got poorly, it was supposed to be cottage pie tonight. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll settle for the tin pears right now. We just had a big realisation and it's really bad. It's currently the 7th of January and we have to stay in isolation until the 13th of January. The Erewash Canal closes on the 10th until March. So we're going to be stuck on here until March. It's a quarter of the year. It's a quarter of the whole year. There's nothing we can do. We really want it to be off of the Erewash before that or at least past that lock. What I don't get is if, if the whole like continuous cruising thing, if you can't move because of a closure, can you just stay put in one spot? This is the only facilities. Mm. It's a really rubbish thing though, because like you just, you just feel like that's it. A quarter of your adventuring for this year is gone. The thing that's prompted this is we were looking at we was what just casually watching the Taylor's Aboard their 2022 planning video and Wes said, oh, we should probably look at the closures. And then I remembered saying to my mum, after Christmas, we're going to have to pretty much move straight away because there's a closure on the air wash. There's two things for me. One, I miss cruising already and we've yeah, only been here for about three weeks. Not even that. Yeah. And two... The longer we don't cruise, the more anxious I get about cruising. Because sometimes I can feel quite anxious about cruising after staying in one spot for one week. Yeah, but at least we, you can still cruise to like keep us in the hang of it, keep the engine moving and stuff, but... I guess. It's just so stupid that I've got COVID. It's literally the worst timing. At Langley Mill and was hoping to get past the closure at lock 61. Do the continuous cruising rules still apply? So if you could um, call us and clarify, that'd be great. Thank you. It just gets worse. We've asked on a couple of people on Facebook what they think. A lot of people say it should be fine for me to solo the locks to get past the closure, basically tomorrow and Sunday, before the stoppage, um, because I've tested negative. However, I do still have a cold and cough and all the rest of it. But it took us like three days to get down there and you've both and that was us both doing it. And and, and also I don't know if I physically can because I am exhausted just lifting a coal bag at the moment. So I don't know if I physically could do that. These 
are the only facilities this side of the stoppage. So it makes no sense for us to try and continuously cruise. We have to go at least a mile every two weeks when this is the only spot we can kind of come back to to do all the facilities. So everyone says the best advice is to ring the local license um, officer. However, the license support officer for the Erewash and Cromford canals is off until Monday, at which point it is too late because the lock will be closed. Our end of year review for 2021. Our advice to our future selves was to slow down. So to start the year, you can watch that here, by the way. So to start the year by <laughs> desperately sprinting while poorly down an entire canal to rush through and frantically do some rivers that might be really horrible. Yeah, what's the rush? It's probably not a good idea. Maybe we just stay. We're staying. We're staying. We're staying. That took ages. <laughs> Rufus? What do you think about the news of us staying on the Arrowwash Canal for an additional two months? <laughs> We've literally been stressing about this for about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. I've been pretty chill. I have. I've been stressing about this for about two hours. I think one of the worst things about having headaches and being isolated is having to turn the engine on. Especially when it's a mess and you turn the engine on and everything just rattles and shakes and makes really annoying noises. But it's got to be done because there's no sunlight, so no solar, and we've got to keep the batteries topped up. The other thing that I'm going to have to do today is empty the cassettes because they are pretty full. Thankfully the Elson is literally just there, so I can just quickly nip out and do them and I shouldn't come into contact with anyone else, which is really useful. And I've done another test and it was negative, so it should be safe to do so. It takes a bit longer to get going when it's been cold. We should also check the diesel soon because I don't have a clue how much we've got left. Here's the look of the day. It's uh, some dinner stains. No. <laughs> and the hair that has not been brushed in far too long. No. Stop. <laughs> My love. Oh, my God. Feeling a little bit better today, so Wes is cracking on with some editing, and I'm gonna make, try and make homemade hash browns. So it looks really gross, but basically, I've put some all of the potatoes in a cloth and squeezed it out into the sink to get all and most of the moisture out. So now it's like the shredded potato with lots of the moisture out. And then I'm not gonna bother with the shapes. I'm just gonna fry it into like a big pile and hopefully that'll be tasty. Kind of a weird breakfast, <laughs> we got toast beans mini cocktail sausages and the hash browns did not work they're like they weren't really sticky and i don't even know if it's cooked <laughs> today is day six since i tested positive for the first time so i'm doing another test and if this one comes back negative then I can do a test tomorrow, and if they're both negative, then I'm allowed out of isolation early. The rules keep changing, so I think that's the case. <coughs> Amy's so far is looking like it's negative, so I have to do one as well. <laughs> I hate doing them so much, <laughs> my eyes are watering. Still positive, it's so faint though, but even a faint one is still positive, so... No coming out of isolation early for me just yet. Wes somehow 
been in this 50 foot boat with me the entire time and hasn't caught it off me so what can we say we are gonna have a go at chugging along's argy bargy board game to get us through it's a narrowboat board game and we haven't played it yet that's not allowed yeah you're not allowed to make a dead end well my next move i'm gonna add that it doesn't matter, you're not allowed to make a dead end and then be like, oh, yeah, it's yeah. six years time. No, that's going into nothing. That's going into an existing tile erroneously. Get out of town. <laughs> it's the first stack of the night. The first stack of rune. That's really thrown me off. No one was prepared for that. Whoa! <laughs> Norwich to Reading. But also... Whoa! Uh, Greenwich to Sheffield. Things are heating up. 31, 32, <gasps> 33, 34, 35, 36. This is all I get. <laughs> Every single tile I pick up is one of these. I know what you're all thinking. You thought the Leeds Bristol would never be complete. Da, 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 da. Final tile. <laughs> Times total scores. My final score is 50, 90. 149. <laughs> very competitive. That was really good. Yeah, I really I enjoyed actually, that. Did actually really like that. It was a very good game. Well done to the Biggie Bros team. <laughs> that was really fun. Yeah, would highly recommend. Wes has <laughs> been looking after me a lot. Wow. Thank you. That's all right. Thank you so much to Tud and Ness for the five bags of chips and an anonymous for the three as well. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this episode of us lounging around, quarantining and feeling poorly. Don't worry, we're feeling a lot better now and we'll see you next week. We're too poorly for this. <laughs> for anyone who's curious how we got that shot. <laughs> this... <laughs> He's been setting it up for like 25 minutes and I just want to get in bed. I'm delirious on medicine. <laughs> That'll do. Let's roll.